the zoom of five is a single arm um, phase two multicenter study uh, where we evaluated executed in cellular cell, which is an anti CD19 autologous CAR T cell therapy product in patients with relapsed or refractory indolent non Hodgkin lymphoma. To be eligible, these patients had to have either follicular lymphoma grades 1 to 3A or marginal zone lymphoma, either nodal or extranodal disease. So historically, patients with um, uh, relapsed or refractory indolent lymphomas have been treated with multiple lines of chemotherapy. So these patients um, have progressively decreasing duration of response with each successive line of therapy. And uh, most patients um, eventually stop responding. Uh, so in this context, this therapy was evaluated in patients relapsing or refractory after two or more lines of systemic therapy for, pay, for follicular lymphoma and marginal zone lymphoma. And uh, rituximab monotherapy was not considered as a line of therapy for eligibility. Uh, so the patients initially underwent leukopheresis. Uh, and once the product has been generated, um, they received conditioning therapy with cyclophosphamide and fludarabine for three days. And after two days of rest, received a single infusion of Axicel at a dose of 2 million CAR positive cells per kilogram body weight. Um, and the first tumor assessment was done at day 30. And the primary endpoint for the study was overall response rate. So we enrolled and treated a total of 149 patients. 124 of them were follicular lymphoma and 25 were marginal zone lymphoma. Of those, uh, all patients were available for safety, but um, in this two-year update that we are presenting at ASH 2021, um, the efficacy of valuable patients included 110 patients, uh, including 86 with follicular lymphoma and 24 with marginal zone lymphoma. So we previously reported the primary analysis at ASH 2020, where at least 80 patients with follicular lymphoma have had at least 12 months of follow-up. And now in this uh, follow-up uh, analysis, uh, 86 follicular lymphoma patients have had at least 24 months of follow-up. And the median follow-up now is 31 months uh, for follicular lymphoma and 24 months for marginal zone lymphoma. So we observed, uh, observed a total overall response rate of 94% in follicular lymphoma and 79% had complete remission. In the marginal zone lymphoma cohort, the overall response rate was 83% and the complete response rate was 63%. And at a median follow-up of um, 31 months in follicular lymphoma, 57% of these responses were ongoing. And the median, um, duration of response and progression-free survival is approximately 40 months um, for these patients, and the median overall survival has not been reached. For marginal zone lymphoma, about 50% of the patients have, are in ongoing remission after a median follow-up of 24 months. So the patients, um, uh, the most common adverse events related to CAR T cell therapy that's been observed um, is cytokine release syndrome and uh, neurological toxicity. Uh, while most patients had cytokine release syndrome, these were primarily grade one and grade two. Grade three or higher CRS was observed in less than 10% of the patients. Uh, and grade three or ICANS was observed in about 19% of the patients. In fact, patients with follicular lymphoma appear to have much lower toxicity compared to the marginal zone lymphoma cohort, as well as large B-cell lymphoma patients who were previously uh, treated um, you know, with the same product. In addition, we also observed evidence of B-cell aplasia early on after CAR T-cell therapy. However, majority of these patients eventually recovered their normal B-cells, um, suggesting that long-term persistence of the CAR T-cells may not be needed to maintain durability of responses in these patients. So based on this uh, pivotal 
uh, single arm phase two study, the XSL was approved in the US for treatment of patients with relapsed refractory follicle lymphoma after, no, after two or more lines of systemic therapy. Um, <clears throat> follow up is ongoing in patients with marginal zone lymphoma. In addition, we are actively here uh, in discussions uh, to evaluate XSL in earlier lines of therapy. You know, and of course, oh, we would like to continue to follow these patients long term to see if a proportion of these patients are potentially cured with this therapy or not. You know, at least in large B cell lymphoma, you know, it appears that XSL is potentially curative you know, for you know, approximately 40% of the patients you know, where we've seen long term durability of responses. It remains to be seen with longer follow up whether you know, cure is possible in patients with follicular lymphoma as well. Thank <music> you.